Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Lemmings World Tour today. Praise be to God on this glorious Saturday, at, the, at least the time that I'm recording this. And we've got five amateur levels left, so let's just finish those off in one video, because clearly we're not going to get stuck on any level for an hour. I hope that doesn't happen. That would be terrible. We're on level 36. Walk This Way! by Aerosmith. Yeah, I actually know that song. We have 30 lemmings, we can kill two of them. I probably am not understanding a lot of the song references, and people are like, Artie, how do you not know this song? Have you even listened to classic rock? Uh, kind of, sort of? I don't listen to a lot of actual, like, songs. I more listen to background music. But that's just me. We can kill two lemmings today. One of everything. We've got Climber, Glider, Bomber, Stoner, Platformer, Builder, Stacker, and Fencer. I don't know why I'm sounding like that. I'm... Okay. Well, we can glide on there. That seems like a perfect opportunity to glide. Mm -hmm. We have one destructive skill. So I'm guessing we're going to have to fence up that way. We can use the Builder there, perhaps? And in that case, how do we get past the exit? Stacker plus platformer, perhaps. So let's start. Oh, if I could save the bomber, that would be great. Not counting on it, but perhaps. Guy can dream. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to use the builder there before I fence. Did doy. So, yeah, if I can ricochet. Boom. Now I've gotta build in such a way that I'll be able to fence all the way up it. So let's try doing it like there. It's perfectly alright if he climbs up there, because he can't climb over the stoner. But that's a bit of a problem now. What else can I possibly do today to stop this tragedy? There's no way a single stacker will get me over that. Oh, but maybe use... Well, no, I have to use the stacker there, because there's no way I can platform. Okay, well, you know what? Let's try this. So if we do that, can we use the stacker to get through here? So if we build, if we stack there, okay, so he does still go into the exit. We stack right in front of the exit. Oh, and then we can use the bomber to detonate him. Oh, that's clever. Uh, I don't want to build from the back. Oh, oh, there we go. Fencer physics are a little odd at times. Hopefully that won't... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They're going down the tunnel. Oh, beautiful. That was a really good level. Holy cow. Really clever one of every famous solution. I, that was... That might be a bit of a problem. Oh, no. Oh, why? Why is that a thing? Oh, that actually sucks. And you know the worst part? I can't even just move the stacker farther up, because then he'll still blow up from that. Oh, why?
Alright, now we can possibly still salvage this. Instead, I'm gonna build from farther forward to make sure he will actually turn around. Because if he turns around, we don't need to waste that platformer. Which in turn means we actually might be able to save... ...the bomber. So we do a little flippity doo like that. It'll be a serendipity doo da Hey hey! Save the bomber! Wonder if that was intended. I have learned at this point that especially in the early ranks, having skills left over or saving extra lemmings is not necessarily a back route. Whereas a lot of times Strato will give you extra skills that maybe you don't need just to make the skill bar look pretty. So that could have been like he only you only need seven skills, but he wanted to fill in the last skill with something else, so he chose the bomber. I don't know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stop calling everything a back route before I really know whether or not it is. Level 37, shipping up to Boston. Well, this is another amazing looking level. Holy cow. This is by the Dropkick Murphys. Okay. <laughs> we can kill three lemmings this time. Unlimited time. Pretty low release rate. Looks like one of a lot of skills, but we got seven builders and two bombers. Cool. So don't let any lemmings die that you could save using one of these skills. All right. I'm actually going to try sussing out a plan ahead of time. So one builder, two builders. Or one builder, that'll be three builders. That'll be four builders. So we'll have three builders left. We'll need one there. We'll have two builders left. Okay. We got two builders that we can uh, work with. So I'm going to go on a whim and say... Actually, no. We're going to save the stacker. I will probably regret using the stoner early, but I just like starting these levels just by trying stuff. Try a little something new. Then we can mine them up. We have very limited destructive skills. So we can use the digger to get down there. You might have to use two builders to get them up there. So they'll just walk over all that. Chain gain at the end won't be fun, but a single bomber will get rid of that. That's all right. This looks like a pretty simple level. Whoa! Why is the why is the true physics mode kind of messed up like that? You see that there's the two different colors. Why is that? Also, what is the walker going to be used for? Perhaps for this part. But no. So yeah, that's going to take two builders, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to build from a low enough point downwards that they'll get up, but he's going to turn around. Actually, I don't really want him to turn around yet. But I do want to build it in such a way that he'll be able to walk back. Yes, exactly like that. So he can walk back to that wall. So I don't think we need any other builders, all we need left is the bomber, so what we actually can do is before he climbs up, build to turn him around. He's gonna walk all the way back, and we can use our miner to get them out. And because we used a stoner at the beginning, he's actually gonna turn around with them. I love those uh, miner masks. Oh, how did I not under- Oh, that's where the other bomber comes into play. Now he can climb up here, 
bomb from there, so they can now all get up. Oh, I hope that's not splat height. Oh, that's splat height. Dog on it. Okay, that puts a bit of a damper on things, doesn't it? Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't need to turn him around with the builder. No, 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 okay. Because he'll turn himself around, so we can actually save the builder that way. Because he will walk back up the chain. Thanks to that, thank you, Bridge. I love you. And what we can do now is use the remaining builder to cut the splat height. Oh, this is such a good level. Pieces just fall into place so nicely. It's not super hard, but it's uh, it does test your skills. Oh, these levels are so good. That was just. This is a fantastic level on all counts. It looks gorgeous. The solution is beautiful, and it's got the American flag. Like, that's the whole nine yards there. See, holy cow, unless I'm missing something. No, I'm not. Okay. So they'll have to walk across the Red Gate Bridge, but holy cow, that was such a good level. Definitely up there with holding out for a hero for my favorite level in the pack. J beautiful job, Stratos. Oh my. I can't wax poetic about that level enough. That was so, that was so good! That is, oh. I hope the other levels are even like a fraction as good as that one. Level 38, the Shocker. Another snow level? Call me shocked. It offers Steel Panther. We can kill five lemmings today, if we so desire. Um, <laughs> it looks like a lopsided hand waving to you. <laughs> you've got the thumb, and then you've got four fingers, but for some reason the ring finger was uh, kind of mutilated a bit. This is what happens when you add your middle finger to the fist of metal. Did I actually call that? Is that supposed to look like a hand? Uh, yeah, I thought they were going to splat. All right. Okay. No minor. I'm like, wait. We could just mine through there? No, no miner. That's a digger, already. Interesting thing is that we can kill five lightning. Oh, well, two splat. Boom. The rest can be bombers. That's not gonna be enough to get them through. Here's a question. Will this blow up enough? No, it won't. But. The gears are a spinning. Uh. Oh, yeah. I don't like the whole skill queuing thing. So, like, I clicked yes, do a bomb. Um. I clicked on the whole, yes, build from here, and he was falling, so he didn't do that, but then he built it as soon as he hit the ground. I hate that, actually. Personal choice, I know. So here's the thing. He's going to die, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot. We're going to clone him. This is a surprisingly straightforward level. Alright. 
I like the architecture on that level, so that's for sure. That poor glider who saved everybody's like, well, he don't, he don't get no happy ending. I mean, I saved two. I saved three extra. No, I saved four extra lemmings over what I needed. But, I mean, that seemed like a relatively straightforward level. I don't see what else you would really want to do besides blowing up the fingers. I don't, I don't know. I like that level. Not nearly as good as the last one, but it was still fun. And it had the cool music. Well, I mean, every level in this pack has the cool music. Level four, 39, Japan. I mean, when I think of Japan, this is not what I think of, but... I mean... Oh, okay, so we I are oh boy, we've got radiation. This is by Zlada Ugnovich. I apologize for butchering that name. Eighty lemons, we can kill two of them. A lot of radiation hopefully is not gonna be used. When the nuclear power plant in Fukushima exploded a couple of years ago, this Ukrainian singer made a song about it. Ukraine because Chernobyl, you know? I do know. And there's also another Lemmings level in Dove Lems by Dodo Chicago called Survivors of Chernobyl, or Chernobyl Survivors. So that's interesting. We got a good amount of destructive skills, so maybe we won't need the radiation. I'd like to avoid radiation wherever possible, because, you know, it's not a good thing. <clears throat> we might be needing it for some of this stuff, though. Oh, we have four bashers, too. Holy cow. Okay. So, we're absolutely going to need a platformer there. And we're absolutely going to need two platformers there. So, we got one platformer to spare. We got to trap these lemmings somehow. Hey, hey, hey. I love the cloud coming out of that. That's really cool. Oh, and we can't even climb out of there. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to need a climber to separate him from the rest of the group. I feel like diggers aren't going to be nearly as valuable as bashers, so I'm going to do this, and then we can just send a climber plus a digger to get them out. Let's crank up that release rate, though. So like I said, we're going to need to do that. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I think I get it. Maybe I don't, but... Is that like exactly Splat? That's exactly Splat I Normally I don't like that. But today I will make an exception. Because what we can do is do oh hang on we don't want to dig so low into the radiation that everyone falls into the radiation that would actually be a very bad thing okay because we need to cut his fall somehow and a digger seems like a good job to do that we can also potentially use a miner because so i think is we need to trigger the radiation so we can blow this up and let me through Alright. So, let's just try some stuff. Still amateur rank, so it's not supposed to be that hard. So if we do that, that will cut the fall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this lemming. He will go high up and give us some more time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bash through here, hit the radiation, clone the lemming who got radiated, and then we've got some blockers that we can put right next to here. And this way, he will uh, be taking so much time getting back that he's not going to hit the blocker and run into the radiation himself. Now here's the question. Oh, we don't have many corners left. That actually, we might be a little wasteful on our corners. But at this point, we can send... Let's see. Four radiation blocks. That last one, we don't need to worry about. For me, the real problem is going to be navigating the other lemmings past the radiation. So 
if that's the case, we would want to dig, followed by two miners. So we only need to trigger this radiation and that radiation to get through these. The other two we can ignore. So really all we have to figure out is how to get all the lemmings through. For this one, as long as we use a miner, we should be pretty good. We can use like a digger plus a miner and then later a basher. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to get this to work. But we're gonna use it in our last cloner there, and that might mean we need to That might mean the fence is possibly electric. <laughs> Any fantastic Mr. Fox fans out there? Surprisingly good movie. Oh, that is a precise mining point. That's alright. So we are out of cloners now. Which could be really bad. Actually, yeah, that is pretty darn bad, as a matter of fact. But we can probably make it work. Alright. So we're going to need a basher there. So what I'm what I'm planning on doing, as soon as he hits the radiation, we're going to make him stop. So that way another lemming will come, hit the radiation, hit the end of the wall, and then we can turn him around. This, of course, requires us to make another lemming climb. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so this is this is the kind of radiation level that I actually kind of like. Okay, but before we do that... Oh, we can also only afford to let two more lemmings die. That's another thing. Who is the last lemming to go through? Okay, this is perfect. Boom. Oh, problem solved. Yeah, this is actually an example where radiation is used very well. And I like that, because it... it and Strato has said he does try to use radiation like that. He tries to use it in ways that basically just limit where you can bomb and not rather what you can bomb. Well, if the minor tunnel, that might actually be problematic. It's hard to tell. I think that didn't destroy the top of the stairs. We'll find out soon enough anyways. That's our last blocker, but that should be the last blocker we need. Then for this part... Oh, we are out of miners? You kidding me? I don't know how that happened. So we gotta save a miner somewhere. Oh, I see! I see a cool thing we can do. So do we, st we do have a blocker there. Alright, cool. So I'm actually going to do something rather unique. <laughs> so he's going to hit the radiation, blah blah blah, we can... Oh, that is a climber. We do want the climber, just not there. Alright. Oh, dang it! Wait, why is... Wait. Wait, how did he splat, but the other lemming didn't? Oh, that's right. There's the little terrain there. That I destroyed. That's... Not good. He'll still hit the trigger. Cool. So we'll just do it from a little higher up, and... All will be well on the western front.
Even if I have to replay a lot of the level, I am having a blast. Pun intended, of course. So he's gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> you guys want to see what's up? All right. So we're gonna send another lemming. He's gonna climb up that. Hmm. I know this will work. This will work. So now what he's going to do? He's going to dig. He's gonna dig from such a point until he. Oh no! Don't be such a doof. Don't be a goon. Oh wait, no, we've got two platformers. Alright, we'll rewind a bit. So he's got a mine for there. So the lemmings will be able to climb up there. You might be wondering, well... Oh, dog on it. I don't know why I thought that would work. I was like, oh, this will be perfect. And then... I was like, and then we could just dig and then fence! But they're not going to be able to get up that tunnel. Obviously. Wait, no! We can still get this to work! So he's going to die. Hopefully that won't... No, that should not be a problem. Alright, so he'll do that. Oh, dang it. No, 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 this'll work. This'll work. This is fine. Maybe. This might not be fine. Okay, so that's the place where I'm gonna dig. I'm really hoping... Don't fail me, don't fail me. He's gonna fail me, dog on it. Putting on fence, fencing up. Man, I don't think I can even bash through that. No, I can't. Okay. So this is where our problems are going to be. Hmm. I actually have an idea. I gotta just check something. One, two, three, four. Per well, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, that's either just going to work or just not going to work. Where I'm thinking, if we were to dig and then bash from a place where they would be able to climb up and we platform over this, would they still hit the trigger? I think they would. So that's not gonna work. Uh, could we save a miner elsewhere? I don't think we can save a miner at that point. We could probably save a miner there, though. Hmm, does that mean I have to redo the whole level? Because I used a miner at that point. Well, hang on. Because instead of a miner, we would have to use a digger, and then a fencer or a basher. Would that be a good idea? Something tells me it would not be, because don't we still need... Because we would then need a digger plus a miner to get them out of that. pretty tricky now at the end. So looking back and being like, where can I get them out? Because I can't even dig underneath the steel blocks. Alright, definitely cloner plus two miner. Uh, dig, and then clone mine there. Or two miners. But we only have three miners, so we need to make them count. So we definitely need a miner there. We're almost certainly going to need a miner for there. 
and we're also going to need a miner for there. So that's our free miners. So everything else we will just have to... Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to save that replay... Just in case we need it again. Tricky level. Definitely tricky. Alright. Fencers, we don't care about. We can fence them out now. Maybe. No, we actually can't. We're going to need to bash them out. Other things. We're going to need a digger for each one of these. How about bashers? Hmm. All right, well, let's bash our way through that and we can fence, still fence out. Here's something. Well, no, we can't do that. If we go lower down, though, we could platform here. Yeah, I like this. Clever use of the final platformer. Because now what we can do... That should blow up enough stuff, yes, that they'll keep going and they won't turn around. Alright, I like that. That's really clever. Alright, so he's gonna climb up here. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's good. We haven't put the block in there yet. Alright. We're in such a way. Cool. We can mine from there, so we're gonna dig. Dig slow enough... like that. Double minor action. Actually, I just realized we could have done that at any height. Because we're going to put a blocker here anyways in front of the radiation. Well, that happens sometimes, you know. Also, I, I do appreciate the, mu the music for this level. Dance of the Little Swans is a pretty rockin' song. Alright, so he's gonna go down here, he's gonna hit, turn around, cool. Which means we no longer have to worry about splatting, which means... We can do this. Now, we won't need another cloner. We can put a cloner there, and we can put a blocker there, so he doesn't cause any mayhem. Then we can use our last blocker here. Excellent. We can only afford to lose one more lemming, and that's the blocker. So, if we send another lemming, he's gonna go up all this stuff. We can make a mine into the steel block. Cool. And he'll turn around. Thinking ahead. That's what Artie should be doing every single time. Alright, if we do, if we bash from there, we we'll like that. Here's our last platformer, hopefully we can mine all the way through. Can let that and turn around and go to the exit. Sweet! Now, unless I am mistaken, we can fence these lemmings out, and they should all go to the exit. What a wild level! That is probably the first radiation level that I have either <laughs> that I have both really liked and probably not backrooted. So thank you, Strato. You showed me radiation levels can actually be super fun. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. That sucks. There are two blockers out, so we actually have to save another. 
Well, we're, that guy is screwed. That guy, we are not saving. No ifs, ands, or buts. So we're going to have to save this guy somehow. Well, if we keep going low enough, we can potentially mine all the way through and hit the steel wall, and he'll turn around. This guy will keep... I'm not as big a fan of that, but uh, maybe I'm making this way too harder than it needs to be. Okay. So let's instead... How... Okay, that is... So we mine from there, and nope. Gotta do it higher up. Nope, gotta do it... Actually, wait, no, that would work. Wouldn't it? So he's going to hit the steel there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. It's gonna look weird. But I have to do this to prevent other climbers from turning around there. Yeah, because he then he won't turn around. I don't know why I constantly keep selecting Climber when I mean to say Blocker. They're not even similar. Oh, hang on. F3 has always been Climber. Don't know why I thought it was Blocker. More than once. Boom. One pixel is all you need for it to count as a ceiling. This level's so tough. And admittedly, I'm probably not doing it the intended way. Because again, it is the amateur rank. It's supposed to be on the easy side. So if, if I'm having a lot of difficulty with a level that's on um, such an early rank, that's generally an indication that I'm not doing it exactly correctly. Oh, hang on. Boom. Shaka Laka Chief Raka. I haven't saved. Okay, so I saved two climbers and a blocker. Those seem like kind of innocuous skills, and that is. Okay. Cool. We've saved them all that we need to. I mean, my comments still stand. That is still a very fun radiation level. Definitely the most fun I've played. But if that's what you're supposed to do, wowie, is that tough for the amateur rank? If that is not what you were supposed to do, please let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have the final level of Amateur, God Gave Rock and Roll to You. God gave everything to us. Life, our families, our talents, everything except our sinful desires, and that is a result of our own sin, or rather the sin of humans past. Anyhow, it gets complicated. I won't go into the deep theological debate here. We're going to the final level of the amateur rank, and we've got the rock and guitar tile set. I've seen this in the preview. We've got guitars, we've got keyboards, we've got guitar picks, we've got Marshall speakers in the background. This is by Kiss. We've got 40 lemons. We've got to save all of them. There we are at last. Are you ready for your first real show? No, I get stage fright. Okay. Do, 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 do. Five of all the skills. Oh, uh -huh. well, I already see where some problems might be lying. Oh, wait, no, we can climb up that. 
<laughs> that's the that's the exit. I think that's the exit. That's <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say that does not look like an exit whatsoever. But true physics mode exists, so I'm not all that bothered by it. All right. So working backwards, we're gonna need to. Okay, we're gonna need to mine at this point. We're gonna need to platform. We're also going to need to platform there and mine down there. Okay. So let's start by holding the lemmings back, shall we? That seems like a good first move to do. The music just fits perfectly for this level, doesn't it? Okay, so at this point the lemmings will be trapped in a place that they can't escape from. This is good. So we're gonna use our two platformers there. Okay, so he is now in a safe place. So we can get them all out, and we're gonna max out the release rate. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let all the lemmings except one... Up here. Hey, listen to me! I actually sound like I know what I'm talking about. I can't say for sure if I do know what I'm talking about, but this is my plan. So they're all stuck down here. We got the one guy going up here. This is gonna be great. Two platformers should be enough to get through there, so. Well, that's not what I want. Alright, well, we can turn... Well, I mean, some stackers. I want to mine from such a place that we can just get to the exit pretty easily. Just like that. Cool. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to use our last stacker there. Ah, oh, doggone it. I forgot. How did I forget <laughs> That seems stupid on my part, because it is. Alright, we're gonna stack from there instead. Now here's gonna come the tough part. Probably the most separate guy is him. But I don't think that's going to be enough time to platform twice to the exit. Maybe I'll be wrong. That was enough time! Alright! What a rockin' finish to a rockin' rank and a rockin' pack! All puns, of course. Thanks for watching, everybody! I'm Colorful Artie. I'm really enjoying this level pack, holy cow! Only a couple levels that I did not enjoy, and several levels that I'm just a huge fan of. That was a great finish to that rank. And I hope we can expect to see more levels in the professional rank that are just as fun. So until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.